Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Itano Gwene. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can program your calculation using the Microsoft Word. And in order to do that, you need the FFX tool installed in your system so that you can easily impute your equations and do your programming as you want it. So let me just show you a simple example I have here. Let's take an example on, uh, let's say, area of a circle. Let's just do this simple example. Let me demonstrate it with this. Okay, so let's go to fx equation. So let's impute our area now. So a is equal to pi r squared. So as we put pi, fx will give you the symbol of pi. So let's go to a new line. All right. So okay, let me just take this to Microsoft first. So we are here now. Okay. So let me delete this one. So let's move on. Let's let's define the value of R that we are going to be changing in order for our calculation to appear. So go to FS again. This time around, you need to define a parameter. And to define parameter, you need the dollar sign. You put the letter you want. So it's radius I want to change. Then use a sequence parameter. So we have so many parameters in FS, but I want to use sequence in this case. In the sequence, I want my first radius to be 7, and I want to do it in multiples of 7. So the last radius, I want it to be 49. It depends on what you want in your class, and I want it to move in step of 7. So my parameter will be moving from 7 at the lowest, and it will stop at 49, just like that, in step of 7. All right. So that, that's okay. So if I do shift and dollar sign R, you see 7 has appeared. Then I put my unit centimeter. Then let me define it. That means R is equal to this. So this is what I want. Let's put it in Microsoft Word. Okay, so it's in Microsoft Word now. So we say let R equals to 7 centimeter. So I've defined my first value for r then let's move on to the next line all right so we go to fx then this time let's put our calculation so area equals to pi then times r squared but since we have already defined our radius to be dollar sign r so you use your dollar sign r squared like this and you go to the microsoft word all right so before i move on you see the dollar sign have not been assigned to this radius so to assign this radius to this dollar sign r you need to copy your radius come to this place copy parameters then come to this place click on it then paste it there see it has appeared so area is equal to pi r squared and what is r you can see that r is seven all right so let me still move on let me see if i can edit this value of uh, this pi here so let's edit okay let's see let's see okay, let me let's go to a new line first so we say pi is this so pi is equals to let's to get the value of pi you need this curly bracket put the pi inside you see the value of pi has appeared so let me see if i can get it in decimal let's come here look for exact okay okay it didn't come out as decimal okay let's leave it like this. let me see okay it came out as a decimal okay, let's maintain decimal let's round it up to let's say if we can go to three decimal places see i've rounded it to two decimal so you just increase this number here to three decimal four decimal let me maintain three decimal places okay pi is equals to 3.142 then the next step of my calculation is this all right let's go back to word and see how it appeared okay that is that so i want this one as well all right so let r be this then okay let's Okay, it's all right like this. So this is our first line of calculation. Let's edit it and go back. That means I need the value of my pi here. 
So I need to use the coily brackets here. And the value of pi will appear here. So that is the next line. So the next line now is now going to be what is the result when we multiply this? We have here a equals to pi times, we use the dollar sign now, r square. Then, since I want the result of this to appear, I'll put my coiling bracket in the end and in the front. So you can see the result. Don't forget to put your unit centimeter squared. So this is the result of that. Then let's go to Microsoft now and put it there. So this is your result when you have to solve this. So the programming I'm talking about now, if I'm in my class solving area of a circle, this is the formula for area of a circle. Let radius be 7 cm. Then pi is 3.142. Therefore, area is equals to pi times 7 squared. The area is equal to 157.938 centimeter squared. So if I want to change this value without me imputing another value for 7, doing the calculation again, wasting time. Since I've already programmed everything here, it's already been programmed now. All I need to do now is just click on this one, click on regenerate. It will tell us to save first. It's regenerating the parameter. Let's save it into this document now just save it so after saving your work normally you are supposed to save your work before you do anything all right you see the next radius now is 14 so i don't need to impute 7 after doing this calculation again so when radius is 7 area is going to be 615.752 centimeters square so to do it now, all I just need to do is only this one I will be regenerating. Just click on R equals to 14 centimeter. Click on regenerate. To regenerate it, change the value of your calculation and you are good to go. You see, now 1385. Same thing, I want to change this radius. Just click on it, regenerate. Can you see that you have programmed your calculation using Microsoft Word? Your result will keep changing as long as you keep clicking on this, the area will keep changing. You can even use this in your work to monitor your work. You see the variation of radius and area. As radius changes, what will happen to the area? The parameter that you define, you can define the parameter using any set of numbers you like. And you see that your calculation will go as you want. Let's assume you also want the diagram that the circle the radius to be changing in the circle as well. All you need to do is use draw. Just click on FX draw. Let's remove this grid box. Get your circle. Let's take circle with radius. Just click and drag. So this is okay. All right. Let's see if we can get the radius of this circle. Let's go to setting. Okay, the radius is not there. Okay. Let me let me use. A line to indicate the radius. Let me put the dimension of this line. Just click on this line. Go to setting. Let's see the length. You see, this is the radius of that line, but I want it to be in the format I use my Microsoft. So put that dollar sign. R. So this is the <coughs> parameter I define. Dollar sign R. Just define it like that. Let me increase the font size. Let me increase it to something like 18. Okay. So we are okay. Just put okay. So you can see. Let me see if I can change the setting of the see angle is text angle. I don't want it to be at an angle. Let's click on this. Then okay. Alright, I think this is okay. Then let me see if I can move it away from the center just click on this let me come to the side and see how it will appear okay it didn't change let me see okay this is for text position you can see that it's moving now let me see if i can move it down let's see how it will appear in the text okay this is too far let's um, raise it up a little this one will look to let me come down a little. Let's see how it will appear. Okay, let me go back and see. 
All right, I think it's okay. okay. Let me just rise it up a little. Let me pull it up a little. Let's see. Okay, I think it's okay like this. So my radius, I'll define it here. Let me define my center of my circle. Just click on that and drag. So I don't want the letter to be A. Let's edit it. Let's change the letter to be O. So circle O. Let's move it out a little. All right, I've done this. So this is the circle simple diagram. Go to Microsoft, click on this. The circle will come to your Microsoft Word. Okay, I don't want the diagram to be here. I want it to be somewhere here. All right. So I can also program this diagram so that if I change this radius, it will come here and the radius will be changing here where my calculation will be changing automatically. So how do I do that? So click on this radius. Go to copy, copy this, then come to this one, click on this, then come to paste, paste it. So it's supposed to come out now. Yes, it has appeared. You see, 28, 28. So let me go and edit this. Just click on this, go to edit, then this is your work. So Click on the line, go to edit. Let's put CN in front, centimeter in front of the label, and that is that. Okay. All right, we are good. Okay, let me balance it. The 8 is touching the line. Let's balance it. So we just need to move this out a little. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't want this. Let's move this one backward a little. Let's see. Let's move it again backward. Move it back all the way to now. We just need to come down a little. Let's see, all right. So it's well positioned now. Then go here, take it to Microsoft Word, and uh, you're good to go. So this is it. So to do my program now, just click on this, click on regenerate. The radius will change, the radius here will change, and your calculation will change. So in this, you can see that I've done a simple calculation in my Microsoft Word and um, it won't take you time everything will change you see radius is 35 diagram have changed calculation have changed if you click on it again click on regenerate you see it will change to another value of radius and we do the calculation for you very fast and um, just like that so this is all about this video all I have for us you see, readers have changed to 42, diagram have also changed, answer have changed for the area. So you don't need to re put you don't need to put 42 and start solving again, start drawing another diagram, putting just there wasting time. You have already programmed everything. I can change this value as I want that this R value. I can come to this place, go to edit, understand, go to my parameter. I can decide to change the radius. I can say, okay, I want my radius to start from 3. Maybe I want it to stop at maybe 20. Then this time around, maybe I want it to be in a multiples of 2. This time, and that is that. So you see, it has changed to 13. Then go to Microsoft Word. See, it's now 13. So do this. Click on this. Regenerate. Update. It will do it for us. See, it has done everything. 15 years. 15 for radius. It has changed the result. Click on it. Regenerate. Just like that. It will change the value of your radius to any value. It will regenerate it just the way you want it. And your answer will come out fast. Instead of you typing all and over again. So this is all I have for this video. You can do so much with your calculation. Any calculation you want, any formula, just input the formula, type it using FX tool in your Microsoft Word, program it like this, and you see that your calculation will be quick and fast for you in your classroom. So I hope you enjoy watching this video how to program your calculation using the Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.